everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. This is a sad thing to see. The Needy Sisters go from target to target. Now they're targeting uh, Victoria Brightshield because of the things that she said about it being sad, you know, that she found out about the NBA collab through you know, Nidhi Sanji and through others, instead of, you know, her being asked if she wanted to be a part of Nidhi Sanji collab. It's just, I don't get why they do this. I don't get why they go after somebody like this. They're just expressing their emotions. They're expressing frustrations. They're expressing disappointment. That is valid. That is correct to do. There's nothing wrong with doing that. I don't blame her for doing that. I probably would have done that as well. Oh, a sponsored collab I'm not a part of. What should I do about it? Should I talk with my colleagues or manager about it and say that I really like NBA and it'd be great to join? Be very professional with me. This is a needy sister, by the way. Or start vague posting on X. Start essing on my employer and coworkers just for the sake of it. She really is a grifter. Wow, they're really going after her now. Yes, we get it. Leaving needy Sanji is a great way to boost your popularity. But if that's your only idea for personality, at least be less on the nose about it. Insert Claude picture. Yeah, insert the Claude picture where he is brown nosing or sticking his nose, you know, where the sun don't shine to sniff the farts of uh, Nidhi Sanji. But the thing is, of course, Claude is also valid in his whatever he says. I think it was more a foot and mouth moment for him. Uh, he hasn't shown that type of thing before, but it definitely was a brown nosing moment for him. For now, we're talking about Vivi, of course. Collaborating livers must be kept secret from the other livers until the official announcement is made. So it's natural that you didn't know about it. What she's asking about, what she's frustrated about, she didn't even know about the collab starting to begin with. She wasn't even asked to be in it. It wasn't like, hey, everybody, here's the collab. Who wants to be a part of it? And then we'll do a, you know, like, let's say that they, they don't want to be favorites or whatever. They can do a lottery. Enter the lottery to be a part of this collab. And then, boom, there you go. It would have been different. I don't think she would have posted this if she would have even known about the collab before it was announced. There are times when you ask the live if they want to participate in a collaboration, but we don't know if the Niji or NBA that chose them this time. I understand that Oshi is sad. Uh, she wasn't chosen for the collaboration, but don't like it when they say it was uh, that way direct towards the company. Please refrain from complaining as it would be the complain to collaboration partner. You can complain all you want. It is free speech. It is Twitter. Vivi can complain all she wants. Thank you, Paladins, and everyone who's been kind to me and understanding. I'm sorry for making anyone upset or angry on my behalf. The fact that she has to apologize for just, you know, releasing a little bit of stress is very annoying to me. It really annoys me that the Nidhi sisters do this. They have such high loyalty to the company that they even hurt the livers. And that is what annoys me. Don't hurt the livers for this. They have a right to feel the way that they're going to feel. So do not go and just, you know, be negative towards the liver themselves. You know, let's do our best to show others the same kindness you've shown me. Uh, let's be cool and excellent to each other. Exactly. This positivity is what you want to spread. Not the negativity that the Nidhi sisters are doing. This is just horrible to see. It really is. And saying here, oh, F no, hopefully make her leave sooner. Vivi is based for speaking out. It's almost like she doesn't even have a manager or colleagues that would be willing to help her. Oh, but what do I know? Uh, all these people surely know the ins and outs of Niji and management. Yes, all these Niji sisters surely know that. Unlike a random weeb like me who assumed based on past events. Silly me. Historical past events quite clearly show that you're saying has merit. Niji sisters. Oh, oh, the sand tastes so good. I'll bury my head further in it. F you, Niji. Please endure it, Vivi. Don't give up. Endure. Endure until your contract is over. That's my recommendation. Then just leave, and you will have a wonderful community that follows you. All the people who are naysayers, all the people who are angry, all the people who are negative towards you will leave. At least the Needy Sisters one will, and you could just block the other ones if you want. Even tweeted out after the first Feels Bad tweet announcement for a member, Zatsu, where she wanted to go planning. Take it to planning and leave those sad feelings behind her, you know, an indication that she's moving on. For those who came two days later, like a corporate request. Yeah, exactly. It just, I don't know. I feel bad for V because she is wanting to do something for Nidhi Sanji. She's wanting to be a part of this company, but the company is not treating her right. And that's the thing that I'm against. People asking questions, trying to get into conspiracies, whatever, you know, people are wondering what this whole uh, gate was. It was obviously a stock photo, which was proven before in a video that I did before. It was a stock photo, but maybe because they were a part of that haunted mansion that they are, you know, live in or whatever that's the gates to the mansion opening up for them uh stock photo that's it just a random stock photo people are you know doing uh connecting dots hints harps angels women what is bro talking about singing voice equals pretty women sirens good women look this person is whoa this person is getting into the whole uh special side of things holy crap 
It's posted someone seven days ago. Yeah, whoever did this one, this one specifically, is like Harps logo singing Kitsune. They, they're, they're freaking, they're, they're, they're connecting dots, connecting string, connecting all that stuff that's going freaking crazy. Gate to the manor. Oh, that's it. I guess it makes sense. Elaborate the minimum wage part timer wasn't paid enough to do anything separate other than getting a stock photo. That's what a lot of people believe. The question that was a hint either debut. The basic uniting lore of Denoth is that they all live in a manor and work there. That's my guess. People, some people are saying cemetery, that type of thing, you know, because it's the end of their careers. Uh, gate of merging with JP branch, prison gate shutting down. Uh, you know, it's basically my take on this whole thing is basically it is due to it being a manor, being a haunted manor. Uh, you know, the gates of a manor, mansion, whatever you want to call it, is going to be fancy. It's going to be ornate. It's going to have some, you know, luxuries. This -ness, luxuriousness to it. That's the word I was looking for. A luxuriousness. Here we have Mori Calliope, Mori Calliope, whatever you want to call her. Uh, she is doing her major second album, Phantomime. Uh, it's a concept teaser. This one, of course, having some information here, having some you know concept teaser here, which is good to have this type of teaser going on. Her new album. Uh, it's all basically. I think it's Universal Music Japan. So that is why you don't hear any sound from here because I do not want to put sound here from Universal Music Japan because they're going to strike the video and you know all that kind of fun stuff. So we have here. We have of course the uh, concept teaser on her channel right now. So far it has 33k views. Going on to her. Uh, Twitter, which is, this is Mori Calliope's Twitter, Mori Calliope, whatever you want to call her. He has 816. So it's basically the 16th of August it, in this year. It's going to be coming out. Limited sale for one week only. Signed bonus edition, standard edition plus signed card. It's probably going to be hand signed. Uh, it's going to be this uh, sale time, I'm guessing, is um, also she's going to be having a collab with Henya eventually. And yeah, she's just pushing the super groupies stuff, all her, her merch. So of course, support her as much as you can. People, the responses are Nekomimi Kali is so cute. Uh, I already pre-ordered the limited edition. Big ups for you. You can say I'm a fan. I got more than this. Basically, fans are going to be going insane with this, which is that, that they should. Because Kali goes through a lot of time. Like she spends a lot of time doing this. So it is a lot of hard work on her part. So, you know, support them when you can. Now for some Sayu slash Yu news. Uh, we got a Genshin ad from uh, Sayu, showing Sayu here, Genshin Impact showing Sayu, which means she's getting some sponsorships here and there, which is very good news for her. She's part of the ad for Genshin Impact now. That's so cool. Hope NDF don't get too upset and hope people don't bring up the past again. Just in, let Sayu enjoy the, the benefits and the positivity that's coming now, all the things that she's getting now. So hopefully the NDF will forget her. Hopefully the Navy sisters will forget her and she can move on being supported for what she's doing now. And another thing. I was at this stream last night. I'm glad someone actually brought this up. Sayu showed a bit of a surprise, a bit of a new outfit, which basically has, you know, her regular Sayu thing without the visor, mind you, this time without the visor. So we get to see her full head of hair. And as a little, you know, donkey cat hybrid thing, the, the kind of Eeyore looking donkey uh, a hoodie, onesie, whatever you want to call it. I think it's a hoodie more than anything. She was having a lot of fun doing the Gumpla build. And then you have the cat underneath, the cat ears underneath. So it's a little bit of a hybrid between the two. Just trying to give you guys a little bit of Sayu news, a little bit of positivity on the Sayu side. Uh, I love this outfit so much. It's a hoodie plus high stock stockings and punk boots combo. She looks cute and hot, according to this person. Uh, OMG, she's so down adorable. She did do a lot of adorable things that night. So it's a lot of positivity. It's where she vibes so hard, the software froze. And it's just too cute. People enjoying Sayu as they should. Hello everyone, just talking a little bit about the legends, the little memes that happened on the weekend. Uh, legends made our weekend great. The shield had a name, what would it be? The meme name for this, the CTM, Cockroach Tomato Mint, also serves as a pun for speakers. Uh, CBT, oh God, it's Cockroach Banshee Tomato, oh God. That's just, woo, oh my lordy. The new DX, we have Triple H, Doki, uh, Shawn Michaels, Mint, and China Matara. So yeah, it's it. People are finding meme names for them. Uh, but of course, it's like we, after school, they have their things, Matara, Mint, and Doki, of course. It's like we technically have an indie click. Well, I mean, the click already has a bad, I mean, click has a bad connotation. So we're going to call this just, you know, the new team, the new team, so to speak. Everyone is part of a click friend group. It's only bad when they started terrorizing, bullying other people outside of the click. Yeah, the click has become kind of a meme thing. It is a friend group. Technically, it is an in group. Technically, it's just when they start bullying, that becomes bad. But let's go on the meme side. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.